clean up Piggy. I said clean up Piggy. This is my own version of clean up Roblox with Piggy games, Piggy YouTubers, Piggy skins, and more. How to play. Shoot the things that you don't like and keep the things you do like alive. So yeah, I already played like, you know, a game called clean up Roblox, which basically is like, it's like kind of like an opinion game, you know? You can basically make a video out of it. You can basically make a video out of the game and stuff, and basically, like, tell your opinions about, like, Roblox YouTubers, Roblox games and stuff, you know, y you know, etc, etc. And yeah, um, it, Clean Up Piggy is basically that game, but instead, it's Roblox Piggy related, you know, with Roblox Piggy YouTubers, Piggy skins, Piggy, like, fan games, Piggy inspired games, yada, 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 etc, etc. I'm totally gonna be in the game because I'm, to I'm definitely a Piggy YouTuber and stuff, you know? Hell, I made a whole fucking Piggy series, Puggy's Piggy Shorts, which you should definitely check out, link in the description. And yeah, since I'm obviously a Piggy YouTuber, not like the big Piggy YouTubers, like fucking, like, Creecraft or something, you know, or like, um, Devown, I still make Piggy ta content to this day, you know? I mean, usually there's Piggy fan games or Piggy inspired games and stuff, you know? So, um, yeah. So, um, without further ado, let's make some controversial opinions We're rolling around Roblox Piggy. Let's begin. Next thing you know, I'm just gonna keep everything in it because I just fucking love Roblox Piggy so much. Fight me. Alright, anyways, yeah, here we are, and we'll just look at that. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we'll just look at that. Yeah, we're in the classic Piggy house and stuff, you know? Um, with like, you know, the chapters, um, the. Yeah, we got some fucking merch. Yep, I love Piggy. I wanna buy that. I I'm gonna bu I'm gonna fucking buy that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking buy that, actually. No, no joke, I'm gonna actually buy that shit. Come on, I wanna buy. I wanna buy the shirt. Let me buy the shirt. Come on. Buy the shirt. Buy the shirt. Buy the curb. I mean, buy the buy, buy, buy the shirt. What? You're in the wrong Roblox game. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm buying this shit. <laughs> I don't care. I'm buying this. Yeah, so there we go. I, I bought it. Yay! I bought a shirt for once. All right then. Yeah, here we go. Um. Ooh, secret items. All right. How to play? Shoot the ones you don't like. Don't shoot the ones you like. Look for secret items. Ooh. What? Many of those missing? Oh man. Alright then, yeah, we got our classic laser gun, baby. Yeah, I can shoot people. I can actually make dis people disappear. Fuck you, Lego! Fuck you, Lego! Now! Go! Fuck you! You said animal gore. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was a big fan of Lego. But but now fuck him. Wow. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Um, alright, yeah. A anyways. Sorry about the inconvenience there. Um, anyways, yeah. Let's start off with the chapters here and stuff, you know? So, yeah. We got, you know, chap, like, the, yeah, so, yeah, let's start off with book one. So, house. Yeah, it's a pretty simple chapter. Yeah, it's a pretty simple chapter and stuff, you know. Like, obviously, you know, kind of, you know, just basically the granny house a little bit, I guess you could say, you know. But, yeah, pretty simple and stuff, you know. Yeah, it could be pretty annoying. It, yeah, it was a pretty, it was pretty annoying and stuff, you know, back in the day when people would just, you know, camp in the fucking vents. But thank God we have the crawling trap now and stuff, so that's a good thing and stuff, you know. So, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you get a chance, Piggy. And, yeah, they, yes. Yeah, yeah, you still have the ch fucking cheeks and stuff, you know. Yeah, the old design, you know. Respect. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll go, like, from over here and then to over here and stuff, you know, so. Yeah, it's this recording. Yes, it is. Alright, we got a mini-ass car right here. Alright, so we got station and stuff, you know. Another, yeah, another, you know, classic piggy map and stuff, you know. Um, next thing you know, I'm just gonna keep these all, keep all these alive and stuff, you know, and shit, so. Well, I'm still just gonna get my review, but yeah, pretty pretty simple map, you know, pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty poggers and stuff, you know. So yeah, gallery, yeah, we got the gallery. Oh, oh, it's glowing. Can I can I pick it up? It's glowing. I can't pick it up, darn. And yeah, we got the gallery. Yeah, pretty short map and stuff. I did hear, I did, I there was a little fun. Here's a little fun fact, actually, you know, Minitoon basically just gave IKEA, you know, all the freedom to just make Chapter Three whatever it w wanted and stuff, you know. So she basically just made it into a gallery map and stuff, you know. So yeah. It was, it, yeah, the gallery was kind of, yeah, the, uh, yeah, that's a little fun fact for you, but, yeah, once again, pretty simple, you know, map and stuff, you know, like, all these maps are, like, all the book one maps are just extremely simple and stuff, you know, um, yada, 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 so, yeah, um, yeah, you, you'll get a pass, and yeah, we got, yeah, we got, oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, bullet, bullet warning made this game, yeah, let me guess, I can't fucking, yep, I can't look at what he's even saying at the, in the first place, yeah, good, goodbye, fuck you. But anyways, yeah, we got, yeah, we got Forest, you know, yeah, one of the first ever piggy maps that actually, you know, killed off a character technically, you know, basically just infecting them and stuff, you know, yeah, doggy's still sleeping right there, you know, so, yeah, once again, pretty, pretty cool map, pretty good map and stuff, you know, um, and yeah, it has Mr. Stitchy in it, so that's a definitely a W, 
And yeah, we got the school map. Like in favor of the game. How about no? Um, all right. Um, yeah, we got the gears and stuff. We got obviously the teacher right here. That's not killing us, thank God. Um, but yeah, pretty like you know, pretty decent map, honestly. You know, Pr pretty pretty like easy map. If you're like a big pr piggy pro, obviously and stuff, you know. Hell, all these are just gonna be pretty easy if you're obviously a piggy pro and stuff, you know. Um, it's just like basically a big ass square, honestly. If I'm gonna be real honest, it's just it's just like a big ass square, a big a big square school, you know. And yeah, the hospital. Yeah, that that yeah, th this one is one of those pretty small ass maps and stuff. So yeah, it can be pretty difficult, you know, to like you know kind of beat this. It, it's gonna probably take you a few tries at least, you know. Unless if you have like people in the server, then maybe they can they can distract the berry berry and stuff, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's a pretty short, it's a pretty small map and stuff, you know, like, so, it, it, like, yeah, pretty decent and stuff, you know, like, the hospital could have, you know, been, you know, more, a lot more bigger and stuff, you know, at least, you know, like, but, yeah, still pretty cool, yeah, you get, yeah, and I also heard from Minitune in one of, like, you know, the, like, Mini Moon's channel, yeah, yeah, Minitune actually has a girlfriend, yeah, I, I am, a, I am very happy for him, he got a girlfriend before me, <laughs> I'm still fucking lonely, but yeah, a little fun fact from Minitune as well, um, this sword right here was actually meant to be a needle, as the original berry model, but of course, Roblox doesn't allow needles, and instead, they allow these fucking harpoons or whatever fucking shit, you know, here, hell, a fucking whole anchor that could do a lot more damage, even a fucking spike, you know, they can allow all that, but not just one fucking needle and stuff, you know, I guess David Basuki is really scared of needles, huh? But yeah, once again, pretty decent map, you know, could could be a lot more bigger map and stuff, you know, but yeah, pretty decent, yeah. Next, we have the Metro, which, um, we all remember where Bunny dies, dies and stuff, you know, like, yeah, technically gets killed off and stuff by being infected and stuff, you know, and yeah, to this day, we still don't even know where the hell the Sam Piggy comes, came from, honestly, my headcanon is that he's, he's basically just Grandpa Piggy, and he was kind of, he's maybe like a test subject for like, for like, you know, solving the infection and stuff, and then turned into a zombie and now lives in the Metro forever and stuff, you know. That's just my head. That's just my head ca cannon, honestly. You know, so yeah, a little theory there. But hey, that's just a theory. A piggy theory. Sorry about that. Um. Anyways, yeah. Once again, pretty cool. Pretty cool map and stuff. You know. Yeah. But but yeah, it, it has to go to de decent and stuff. You know, because it killed off Bunny, my, my 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 homie, my girl and stuff. Why 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 the fuck would you do that, huh? All right. Anyways, yeah, carnival. Yeah, we got carnival here. You know. Yeah, we all recognize this map, not because it introduced Pony and Sizzy, but because all the little kitties who watch Skibidi Toilet always like to pick this fucking chapter, because it's the most easiest chapter out of them all, and it's, once again, just most likely just a big-ass square, just like the school map and stuff, you know? So yeah, I don't have any problems with the map and stuff, it's, it's just basically just now known as just the kitties chapter and stuff, you know? You know, just peep, like, all the kids just picking the chapter and stuff, so yeah, nah, the... Yeah, it's a pretty, it's, a, yeah, it's a, yeah, you know, hold on, so, um, yeah, hold on, you know, let me, let me do something, so, I'm gonna, like, do some, like, yeah, I'm gonna basically, um, like, say, if I would have, if I would play the chapter again and stuff, you know, if, if like, if, like, depending on how good it is, so, would I play house again? Yes. Um, would I play station again? Yes. Um, uh, would I play gallery again? Next thing you know, I'm just gonna say everything to yes, um, but, maybe, Maybe, just maybe, but, yeah, will I play forest, forest again, you know, yeah, 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 probably and stuff, you know, it's a pretty big map and stuff, you know, yeah, um, would I play the school map again, you know, um, I guess so, I'm, I'm just guessing at this point, but, yeah, will I play the hospital again, you know, it depends, maybe, you know, if there's, like, some skin quest in, like, a, in the hospital and stuff, and then maybe I'll play it again and stuff, you know, but in general, I probably won't play it again, you know, so, yeah, would I play the Metro again? Absolutely fucking not, you know? Because I do not want to cry again at the bu bunny chapter, but... Yeah, would I play a Carnival? Fuck no. Um, you know what? You know what? Screw the shit. Yeah, yeah, get, get the fuck out of here, fo Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Foxy, yeah. Alright, yeah, now we got City! Yeah, with Ellie and stuff, you know? Yeah, Ellie Enterprises, yeah. It's a pr- yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty big map, but, like, you know, the rooms, obviously, like, the rooms right here and stuff are pretty, like, short to, are pretty, like, small to, like, you know, get stuck with the, um, with Grandmother or Ellie and stuff, you know, but some of them do have, like, fence to go for the other rooms, so it, so, <clears throat> so, yeah, for that, I would definitely play it again and stuff, maybe, and stuff, you know, probably with, like, a friend, maybe, I don't know, but, yeah, pretty good map, yeah, next we got the mall, oh, I love bullets, okay, 
Um, yeah, so next up we got the mall with our boy Robbie, and yeah, and yeah, it does have the vent again from like, it does have like the ventilation system from, um, you know, the house and stuff, but instead it actually has Mousy this time, so if you did, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would be honestly a lot funny if I would have like seen a video of like someone like seeing like a vent camper and stuff, and then they basically just, you know, not only has Mousy in it, but also a crawling trap, you know, they would definitely be dead after that and shit, you know, so. But yeah, people were able to, you know, do some glitches with all being right there and stuff, so that's not fun, but... Yeah, and this introduced the poly skin quest and stuff, you know, the, um... Yeah, it introduced the, you know, the Jailbreak Times, um, Piggy collaboration and stuff, you know, so, yeah. Pretty cool, the, it's, it's, the, yeah, the obby is kind of difficult a little bit, you know, if you don't really jump at the exact time and stuff, because, yeah, yeah, like, the original Piggy game, it, it, it has, you have, like, very short jumps and stuff, you know, so, um... Yeah, um, yeah, anyways, um, uh, yeah, the mall, pretty good, yeah, even, like, has, you know, the lasers and stuff, where if you actually touch it, it will detect, it will, like, you know, like, reveal your location for, to the bot, or the player picking and stuff, but, 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 yeah, would I play this again, you know, um, would I, yeah, would I play this again, yes, pro, yeah, probably, uh, unless, unless, if there's a fan camper who has an important item and stuff in there, and basically just camps for the entire fucking round, and then we all lose because of him. So, yeah. It, and if that happens, no, probably not. But, yeah. Next up, we got Outpost, you know, the s second to last chapter to, uh, you know, the, yeah, the second to last chapter of Book 1. So, yeah, we obviously have Torture here and stuff. It could either be an Anteater or probably, you know, an Elephant and stuff, you know. I honestly suppose he's like an Anteater because, you know... Like, we only usually see an animal and stuff only exactly one time as a bot and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Like, it, it doesn't make sense, you know, for two elephants to be in, like, different chapters and stuff. So, I suppose he's, like, an ant eater or something like that. Or just some, you know, like, some animal with that uh, has, like, a very long nose and shit, you know? That, you know, just starts with a T, I guess. I don't know, but... Yeah, this also has extra bots. Like, this kind of introduced, like, those extra bots. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean... I mean, yeah, it's one of those chapters that did introduce one of, the, like, the extra bots and stuff that would, like, you know, multiply each time and stuff, you know? That says he would obviously kill and stuff, you know? The soldier. So, yeah, it, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun chapter and stuff, you know? You know? Like, it, it adds a little more difficulty with the soldiers just, you know, walking around the goddamn place and stuff. It's a foxy, you know, just being in one cage and not really doing jack shit and stuff, you know? So, yeah, overall, the output, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, what, you know what? Which one of these chapters could be my favorite? Honestly, um, it's probably the outpost or something like, um, the city or the metro, something like that, you know? Or, yeah, probably the outpost or city or the plant. Speaking of plant, yeah, we have the plant here and stuff, you know? Yeah, the final chapter. Yeah, I exactly remember. Yeah, plant. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. But, yeah, I do, I do remember, like, once the book 1, chapter 12 actually came out, the, the whole game gained one million fucking visits. Yeah, one million visits. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Bloxfruits once, you know, hit one million visits for an update. And, yeah. You know it's you know it's a crazy-ass update when whenever, you know, we have a... F when, you know, the game hits one million damn visits. Do you, the, usually games, like, get to, like, 300,000 vi- Like, you know, um... Like, people and stuff, you know, like, or, like, 200,000 people, but no. This game gained two, one, one million people and stuff, you know, from chapter, the book one chapter 12 and stuff, you know. It, it was extremely crazy and stuff, you know, so. Yeah, but honestly, yeah, that, you know what, yeah, this is my favorite, like, you know, chapter of all in, like, book one and stuff, you know. Like, it has the Mr. Peabot, my beloved. Um, it has Badgie over here, who, ha who, I don't even know what the hell happened to his arm, so I'd rather not question it and stuff, you know. And yeah, it was a pretty cool, you know, like, boss battle and shit, you know, something like that, you know, even at, like, a second part of it and stuff, you know, where you had to, you know, quickly, um, like, you know, go through, like, the old chapters and stuff, yeah, it's just a pretty, you know, fun chapter overall, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend, so, yeah, now that we're done with all the book one chapters, now it's time to go through the book two chapters, so, yeah, let's just go back over here and stuff, you know. So yeah, first up we got the alleyway, alley, alleyways, the back, the back, the like the backstory chapter, I guess you could say and stuff, you know, where do, where we intro, where we get introduced to Willow. The fuck? I didn't. All right, whatever. 
But anyways, anyways, about that, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this basically introduced Rilla Wolf, where me and Officer Doggy and stuff, you know, would simply, you know, um, yeah, basically went into an alleyway where Rilla Wolf usually hid with his brother and stuff, you know, while Rash here was just chasing us and stuff, you know, but yeah, pretty, pretty, and pretty nice, pretty cool chapter and stuff, you know, I like that was, like, I like it that the first ever chapter was kind of like, you know, a backstory chapter instead of your usual, like, you know, like, you guys, so... Yeah, overall, pretty good, pretty good chapter and stuff, you know, this is when, you know, the, this is when, um, yeah, this is exactly when, you know, the, the chap, like, the book two chapters got, you basically had more items than your usual keys and stuff, you know, we got things like the mop, the screwdriver and stuff, you know, even the crowbar and stuff like that, you know, yeah, pretty good chapter and stuff, you know, like, 9.5 out of 10 and stuff, you know, I, yeah, so... Yeah, next up we got the store, where we basically had to, you know, find batteries for a radio that would basically, you know, tell a message from Will and Wolf and stuff, you know. And yeah, we basically found out that Pony was part of the TSP, aka the Silver Pole. If you, yeah, if you, if any of you thought in 2020 that the TSP was the Super Potato, then you're an OG of Piggy, but. Yeah, uh, and yeah, here we had Dessa, obviously, you know, who was also another victim of the infected and stuff, you know, and this is when we find out uh, as well that, you know, the Metro and, you know, store was, was basically kind of, you know, neighbors and stuff, you know, so, yeah. There could be a chance that Bunny was still at the store and stuff while we were, you know, still in the Metro while we were still at the store, you know. Pretty. What the fuck? But yeah, overall, another pretty good chapter and stuff, you know, um, yeah, some of the... Yeah, some of the rooms are kind of small a little bit, I guess you could say, and stuff, you know? That could probably get you stuck with the bot and stuff, you know? Um, and yeah, it also introduced us to more, more of these, uh, more of these, you know, events and items and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Another pretty good chapter, honestly, you know? Like, all these chapters, honestly, are just pretty decent or just pretty good and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Another kind of 9 out of 10. Yeah, next up, we got the refinery. Yeah. This is where we snuck into the refinery and stuff, where basically the TSP were like, you know... Basically, like, their little workplace, I guess, and stuff, you know. We're out, we're, yeah, where we, yeah, we're introduced, you know, more bots and stuff, a.k.a. the t other TSP members and stuff, you know. Um, y yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a pretty fun chapter, honestly, you know. Yeah, yeah, but Tiger, Tiger was the one chasing us and stuff, and I can definitely see why, because he wanted to obviously, you know, make Willow proud, I guess you could say, you know, so. Yeah, a pretty good chapter, yeah, so. Yeah, we got Safe Place next. Now, um, this chapter, this chapter is known for kind of, you know, being extremely fucking tight. I am like, extremely goddamn tight and stuff. I, I mean, you, yeah, like, some rooms and stuff, you know, could, like, yeah, yeah, and, and, it's, and besides, like, the, it, it, it also, it also is kind of, you know, like, a whole fucking maze at, and stuff, you know, and yeah, it's a pretty crazy chapter overall and stuff, you know. And, and, yeah, it, like, going crazy over a chapter makes it a lot more funner and stuff, you know? And, um, yeah, so... Yeah, it even had the elevators and stuff, you know? So that gets a win-win. So, yeah, another 10 out of 10, I guess, you know? Or 9 out of 10 for the tight spaces. But, yeah, next up we got the sewers. Now, this one... <laughs> this one is where when we... It is when, you know, the chapter started to get, you know, a little more, you know, kind of scary a little bit, you know? Yeah, this is why I made it to start the cook with the chapters and stuff, you know? And yeah, this is where, you know, where we got ca caught by the TSP and stuff. We were putting cells in the factory over here. We'll talk about that later. Um, and... Yeah, we fought... We basically went with C and Susie into the sewers and stuff to basically, you know, go through the sewers, like, trying to unlock out... Trying to get out outside of the cell to basically, you know, open the cell up for the, for the rest of the guys and stuff, you know? So... Yeah, and, yeah, Alphys, Alphys was more, well, had, had, yeah, Alphys had a more bigger size compared to the other chapter, yeah, see, look, look, compared to this, say, compared to this, yeah, see, so, look, look, look at this, look at this, compare, look at this, see, look, see, we have teacher right here, right, now, look, now, see, let's, let's put the, right here, yeah, see, look, you can literally see his head, you know, peeking out right there, yeah, he, yeah, th yeah, this is where, you know, the, yeah, this is basically where the character, the, the bot, oh, oh, we got fucking Riggy, huh, okay, uh, but yeah, this is where the, the bots basically kind of, you know, became more, you know, bigger and stuff, you know, like a more, like, more bigger, stronger, and they're better, they're better, like Homelander, um, yeah, but, but yeah, a pretty, yeah, another pretty good, um, chapter and stuff, you know, um, yeah, it pro it could probably give you a few jumps, um, yeah, it could probably give you a few jumps and stuff, you know, like, from, you know, when the first, t the first time you play the chapter and stuff, 
And yeah, this is when, yeah, this is, this is also when it actually started, you know, um, like, they're just the bot just roaming around the entire place. Instead of, you know, just straight up, you know, targeting you and stuff, you know. This is when the bot, you know, actually became, like, you know, actual granny and stuff. Where she would basically, you know, walk around the entire map and stuff. And, and if you, and she basically spots you, then she'll basically chase you for a while and stuff like that, you know. So, and yeah, ever since that, you know, it, it, it kind of become more like a stealth, you know, kind of chapter. But yeah, another, yeah, another pretty, yeah, probably my top three favorite, you know, Piggy Book 2 chapters in general and stuff. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. So, yeah, he's still a pretty scary-ass character. Um, anyways. Now, we got, we got Factory, a pretty big-ass, um, chapter that, uh, that actually, you know, with the second chapter it to have, you know, end, like, different ending and stuff. The first one being, um, plant and stuff, you know. On um, the savior ending, which is basically, you know, just saving all the TSP members and stuff who got stuck and stuff like that. Or the survivor ending, you know, sa either saving some of the, some of them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, basically just saving some of the, some of the TSP members. And if you don't save them a at all and stuff, then, then Will Wolf will obviously just straight up, you know, shoot you in the, right in the fucking head and stuff, you know, so, yeah. What the fuck? But, yeah, an another pretty cool chapter and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it was in like, it was like another one of those boss fights and stuff, you know, with Willow Wolf and stuff, and, yeah, the, yeah, this chapter is just, overall, just pretty good and stuff, you know, so, yeah, um, yeah, it, yeah, it is, yeah, you know what, yeah, it is, yeah, it could be also, you know, kind of difficult to actually, you know, chase, you know, play, like, actually get players, like, inside of this map, because, like, they, they could easily just, you know, just, like, keep running around and around and stuff, you know, because the map is pretty big and stuff, and there's no way you could be able to, like, you know, like, yeah, so, yeah, it can be very difficult and stuff, unless if, like, Will's near and stuff, and she basically shoots them and stuff, you know, to slow them down, then maybe it could be more easier, but, yeah, um, it, yeah, so, it, if you're, like, a player and stuff, then you're probably gonna enjoy this chapter, but if you're a piggy, then, um, good luck, you're gonna, what, okay, you know, what? yeah, fuck you, alright, anyways, um, anyways, move on. Next, next we got the port. Um, yeah, which um we had we had the code over here, you know, with a, a full ass anchor and stuff, you know. But yeah, a pretty good, another pretty good, like a pretty decent like chapter and stuff. Not really like no, but not really talked about inside of you know. Yeah, it's not really exactly talked about that much inside of you know the piggy community and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty good. The ship. Yeah, this is it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like you know um. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, you know, um, safe place again, where it basically had a lot of fucking tight spaces and stuff, and especially since, like, Archie was a lot more faster, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, I'm just, I'm probably just gonna... Anyways, um, <laughs> but, it, yeah, so, um, yeah, um, but, yeah, it could be pretty easy for a piggy and stuff to obviously get the p players and stuff, you know, because obviously it's a tight space, so... Yeah, for the safe place and, like, uh, yeah, for the safe place and ship, if you're a player, you're probably not gonna like the chapter because of the tight spaces and how easy it's gonna be to, like, you know, get the players. But if you're the piggy, then, uh, you're gonna have a fucking fun day with sunshine, sunshines and lollipops and stuff. Don't let Tort hear that. Um, anyways, yeah, so, yeah, another pretty decent, goodish map and stuff, you know, but, yeah, it, it, it could be kind of difficult for the players to, for, to the point where they don't even like the chapter at all. Anyways, next, we got the docks. Now, this, now this, yeah, yeah, this is when it start, or no, yeah, we'll talk about Temple later and stuff, you know, um, yeah, th yeah, so, yeah, n next we have the docks and stuff, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty good, I don't really know, know what else to say that much and stuff, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty, you know, kind of goodish kind of chapter and stuff, you know, um, but they had to kill my boy Pony and stuff, you know, but, I mean, there is the hidden ending and stuff, you know, but, like, but in general, how, how fucking could you, Marcus? You know what? For that, fuck you. Yeah, you're out of here. Anyways, yeah, moving on. Now, we got Temple. Now, now hear me out. Just hear me out. I don't exactly hate this chapter. I don't hate the chapter. It is a pretty short chapter, a pretty small chapter in general and stuff, you know. It's just a pretty, you know, yeah, pretty nice chapter, at least, you know. The problem is... Yeah, the problem is, it's just the put like you know that puzzle, the new puzzle that it introduced and stuff. You know, sometimes I kind of have trouble with the puzzle in this chapter and stuff. You know, and that kind of made me not like the chapter a little bit. But I don't hate the chapter overall. I'm not like you know, 
like hitting hitting the chapter and stuff, you know, saying you should fucking die in the fire and stuff. I don't hit the chapter because of that one puzzle and stuff, you know. So, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but another problem is, Spidella over here is made by PJJL Films. So, uh, sorry, Spidella, you're out of here because of that. Anyways, next up we got the camp. Yeah, if you don't know what PJJL Films did, he basically sent Animal Gore to uh, minors. Yeah. At this point, uh, yeah. At, at this point, I'm just gonna believe that honestly. You know, it, it looks like just everyone's just, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, next up we got the camp. Yeah, we got the camp, which is basically you know the outpost 2.0, but in Winter Wonderland. So, yeah. See, like they even have similar. Yeah, they even have similar. Um, you know, yeah, they have similar um designs and stuff. You know, they have the same helmets but retextured and stuff. You know, they kind of have the you know the same um. Yeah, they kind of have the same weapon, like, once basically just explode, explodes you and stuff, you know? And one basically just burns you and stuff, you know? But yeah, both of them are t basically just, you know, kind of guns, I guess you can say, you know? But yeah, see, like, look, they even have the straps on and stuff, you know? Yeah, they're basically just the same character. I I'm, I'm, they're, they're brothers, I'm gonna say that right now. They're, they're basically just brothers, honestly, you know, so... Yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, the camp, pretty good map and stuff, you know? Yeah, it also had yeah, yeah, these, these chapters are honestly, you know, just pretty similar honestly you know yeah yeah like, yeah like like they hope they have those bots and stuff you know where where they come out of the ground and stuff you know and they basically just chase you around and then a character just stops them also happens with the outpost and stuff you know but yeah it's just, just a little, little more details and then we're into the land so yeah since it's technically the same thing we'll basically just give you you know the same rating like a 9 out of 10 i'm pretty sure i gave it right or 10 out of 10 i don't know and finally I've been talking quite a fuck time. Yeah, it's been 26 minutes. Holy shit, man. Um, but yeah. Now, we got the lab. E yeah, it's easily, you know, probably one of the best chapters to ever come out of Piggy in general, honestly, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably just the best chapters, honestly, you know? Like, this is, like, the area. This is, like, the location that, we, you know, we, we saw in the Book 2 trailer from, like, 2020 and stuff, you know? So, yeah. And this is when we met, we found out that, the, that Penny... Became distorted. Basically, it became a huge monster and shit. You know, so yeah, the the piggy we saw, the penny we saw in chapter one. Yeah, remember Penny? This is her now. Be old yet? Um, she became a lot more older, I bet. But yeah, so um, yeah, a pretty good chapter. It's basically just the plant all over again and stuff. You know, it takes place in like a kind of like a factory kind of you know setting and stuff a little bit and stuff. You know, we basically like a second part of the map where Tigri and um, Willow basically just you know fight to the death. And here's the thing, though. You can either, you know, like, choose between... Yeah, you can either choose between, um, you know, Willow or Tigri by, like, give, giving, like, giving, like, one of them, like, all the items and stuff, you know? And I'll basically... Yeah, there's basically about five endings. And if you also include the hidden ending and stuff, you know? Yeah, not gonna lie, the hidden ending is a lot more better than the true ending and stuff, you know? It was, like, a little satis satisfaction and stuff, you know, for, you know, the entire Piggy game. And, yeah, I did... What I did like about this... You know, what I did like Piggy in general... Is that there's a still, like, believe me, there's just still a lot of mysteries in Roblox Piggy that we still haven't found out about yet. And I did like that they just leave it, le left it off right there and stuff, you know? Like, they didn't, they didn't, like, still continue on with the story and stuff, you know? Like, what happened to this character? What happened to Raze and stuff? You know, it didn't continue on the story. And it basically just let, no, no, fuck you. Um, and it basically just, you know, let the let the players, like, make still make theories to this day and stuff, you know? And hell, they're even making a comeback this year and stuff, which, which could probably explain a little more about, you know, the piggy, like, the piggy lore and stuff, you know? So, yeah, I, I do like that about, you know, pi like, the cha the last chapter of Piggy ever and stuff, you know? So, yeah, in general, yeah, Lab, the top one best, you know, chapter in the in Piggy ever. And I mean ever, so, yeah. 10, 10 out, fuck it, 12 out of 10, no, 13 out of 10, no, 15 out of 10. Anyway, so, yeah, in general... Piggy, Piggy was a, a complete roller coaster, believe me, and stuff, you know? Like, the fact that it's only, you know, been one year and stuff of Piggy, like, for the whole lore, the chapters and stuff, and we got all of this, like, 24 chapters in total, with lots of lore and stuff, with lots of notes and stuff, you know? And yeah, pretty crazy that they, he, yeah, pretty crazy and stuff, you know, that, that this was all, like, done in just one year and stuff, you know? Like, from 2020 to 2021 and stuff, you know? Extremely crazy, I know, but yeah. So, um, anyways, um, yeah. Now that we're done with the chapters, but yeah, in general, I, I like. Although I, 
I kind of dislike a little bit of some of the chapters. I still like all the chapters in general because they're very, like, you know, memorable as chapters in general and stuff, you know? So, yeah. And to this day, people are still playing the chapters and stuff, you know? You know? Because, yeah, sure, sure, Piggy, sure, Piggy's story has ended, but believe me. Believe me on this. Piggy will never fucking die. You know, like Technoblade. Technoblade never dies. We still miss you, Technoblade. And we still miss you, Samson. Anyways, um, anyway, alright, so, yeah, now, we're getting to the Piggy games, and starting off, we already have Piggy, we, yeah, we already know the, yeah, we already know and stuff, you know, we, we already know about the game, you know, it, it's, it's very fucking good, honestly, j j it's very fucking good, um, so, yeah, no need to explain, yeah, just great map and just great, great, great game in general, the reason why the, these Piggy games exist in the, in general, so, yeah, 10 out of 10, yeah, or, no, you know what? 100 out of 10. 1,000 out of 10. Infinity out of 10. Fuck it, alright. But yeah, next we got Piggy Intercity. Now, I only played this once, and that was, like, when it fucking released and stuff. And ever since that, um, I just never played it again, honestly, you know. And to this day, it's still being worked on, so, um, yeah. I don't really have an exact opinion about this, but, yeah, for the first time I played it, it was pretty good and stuff. Uh, I like it that it's, like, an open-world game and stuff, you know. That is supposed to, like, you know, explain the Piggy, you know, lore a little, a lot more and stuff, you know? So, yeah, I can't wait for this to come out. But for now, I really don't have an exact opinion about it. Although, for just, you know, pretty decent and stuff, you know? Like, not that re really much content in the game yet and stuff. So, yeah. Next, we got APRP. Now, this... Um, this is probably one of my, like, you know, top... F what the fuck is that in? But, yeah, now... Th yeah, this is probably one of my top five, you know, favorite Piggy fan games and stuff. Yeah, we're talking about the APRP chapters, not the actual roleplay, the chapters and stuff, you know, so, yeah, the, yeah, this is probably my favorite, you know, top five favorite Piggy fan games ever and stuff, you know, because a lot of effort is actually put into, you know, these Piggy fan games and stuff, especially Railway House and stuff, you know, the Christmas chapter and stuff, you know, Silent Town, I'm pretty sure, and yeah, it's it's just pretty, like, good in general, honestly, you know, so, yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you basically just love Piggy and stuff, and like a little bit, like, if you basically love a lot of, you know, like, um, like, craziness and stuff, you know, a lot of, you know, um, insanity, then I, I definitely recommend the APRP chapters and stuff, you know? And yeah, believe, yeah, I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm gonna say it right now. Get ready for Railway House. You'll understand once you play it, but yeah. Now, Piggy Book 2, but 100 players. Now, this, I only played once. And because I only played it once, it's because when I uploaded that video... Not that really many, not really that many people watched it and stuff, you know, so, I basically, you know, just obviously did not even play it at all, like, I didn't make videos of it, I did go back to the game a little bit ago and stuff, you know, to basically, you know, complete the, their, like, own skin quest and stuff, so, yeah, but in general, I'm not real, yeah, if, 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 yeah, if that video of Piggy Book, book 2, it, yeah, if, if that Piggy Book 2 but 100 players video gets, like, a little bit popular and stuff, then I'll pl then I'll probably make more videos of you know yeah this game and stuff. But for now I'm probably just gonna play in my free time from the skin quests and stuff yada yada yada. So yeah. But overall it's basically just you know Piggy Book Two but with hundred players. So I don't exactly really know what to say about this game. So um, yeah, just pretty pretty good you know. Literally just Piggy but literally just you know Piggy Book Two but with hundred players. So. I just keep talking a lot that, like, a lot of spit just keep clogging out my fucking mouth, but... Anyways, next we got Piggy the Result of Isolation. Now, I've heard of this game before. I, I... The problem is, I did not play it at all. You know why? I do want to play this game. I really do want to play this game, you know? But the problem is, I... I... It's not... It, it never became Xbox support. It, it just never became Xbox support. And besides, you know, Cho Joke Master and stuff, you know, 77, I'm pretty sure the creator of the game and stuff, um, actually got his account banned, so it's most likely not even going to update at all anymore, so, um, there's no way it's going to become Xbox support anytime soon, so, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm not really going to have an opinion about the game and stuff, you know, I mean, I can, I can make a p opinion about the videos I did see about the game and stuff, you know, so, yeah, from the videos I saw, it is a pretty, you know, terrifying fucking chapter, honestly, like, a pretty terrifying game in general and stuff, you know, I like it that it actually revol revol revolves around Georgie and stuff, you know? It's kind of like what it's kind of like what Georgie has to go through, like, during what we had to go through and stuff in the Piggy chapters and stuff, you know? Or it basically just takes place in a different, you know, alternative universe in general and stuff. But I do, do like it that that has, you know... I do like it that Georgie has, you know, 
it, it's like George's perspective and stuff, uh, you know, the Piggy chapter, so, yeah. And not gonna lie, this kind of, like, th yeah, this kind of started, like, that entire, you know, Piggy horror genre kind of, you know, trend, so, yeah. Anyways. Um, <laughs> anyways. So, yeah, Piggy Branch Realities. Good game. But pretty, pretty, pretty astonishing game, honestly, you know. I mean, I... Yeah, pretty, yeah, just a good game, honestly, you know, just, like, amazing game. I, I'm just gonna say that once, and I'm gonna not say it again. It's just astonishing game, I just, I just extremely love all the chapters and stuff, you know. Uh, a lot of efforts put into it, I love all, like, most of the models here. Oh, we can fucking move this. Yeah, I, I love all of the models and stuff, you know, I, I just love everything in the game in general and stuff, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you should, you should be, could be considered one of the top three most, my, one of my favorite, you know, my top three most favorite piggy fan games in general. You have skibbity in your right. Fuck you. No, get 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 get, get your back. Get your back back here. No, no. Yeah, fuck you. All right, anyways. Um, now. Uh, piggy lost book. I don't even need to explain this. It's just god tier, honestly. The top one best piggy fan game. It's yeah. This piggy fan game is like it's like the only piggy fan game out there that is kind of you know what I'm not I'm not in, I'm not including you know piggy book two but player be one hundred players. Because it's really just the same game, but just 100 players and stuff. But yeah, Piggy, P Piggy the Lost Book is one of those Piggy fan games and stuff that actually that actually has the kind of Piggy style and kind of gameplay. Yeah, sure, all the games have like lots of effort put into it, but it just doesn't have that kind of Piggy gameplay, you know, with the timer, the kind of you know graphic. You you get it, right? So yeah, but yeah, it, uh, yeah, all right, uh, like the best game out there and stuff. You know, don't even need to explain it. Can't wait for the collaboration and shit. You know, so yeah. Anyways, um, the Piggy Backrooms. Now, again, this is another Piggy fan game that I wasn't able to play because Xbox support not available. So, yeah, but I did see some videos of it, and it does look pretty good and stuff, you know. And what I do like about it is that it's not your, it's, it's it doesn't be, it doesn't, it's not like your, hold on, yeah, so it's not like your Piggy, like your typical Backrooms game where, where it's basically, oh, Robux Penny, Skippy the Toilet and stuff in the Backrooms, also oh, scary, Ohio, oh, Nugget and stuff, you know? It's none of that. It, it, it's like an actual deep ass, like a dead ass fucking serious, you know, Backrooms Piggy fan game. And I actually love that a lot and stuff, you know? Like, like... I bet if someone sees this, I, I I suppose they're gonna oh it's probably just your typical like Roblox piggy backrooms game and stuff. But no, it's actually you know actually a pretty fucking terrifying game with actually you know chase scenes and stuff, actual stories, you know, pretty good models, like pretty good jump scares and shit, you know. Yeah, Toonie Sailor, good good game honestly, you know. It would be in my top like you know it would be on my in my top one maybe if only I would I was actually able to play it. And I would most likely not even be able to beat the chapter, like, beat the game in general and stuff, you know? Because believe me, it, I will probably get a fucking heart attack from that, but... Whew! Sorry, I just had to qu talk quite a fucking ton. Um, but yeah, the Piggy Battle, the same creator from, um... Wait, is this guy's... Wait, is that not... Wait, hold on, is that... I don't even know, but yeah, this is the same creator who made, um, APRP, aka Tenuous Flea. Who also made other games like Urge to Surge, um, what else, what else, um... Row your boat and stuff. Yeah, he's kind of he he was tr yeah. Tenuous Flea is kind of trying to you know move away from Piggy and stuff you know and trying to make his own horror games. And not gonna lie, I kind of respect that a lot and stuff you know. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see more of your horror games, Tenuous. But yeah, the Piggy Battle. It's basically like a Piggy War kind of game itself. It, it was originally called the Piggy Test Place, but yeah, since it got popular, it ba it was basically just called the Piggy Battle now and stuff you know. Which obviously you basically just fight to the death and stuff you know. Um, as just piggy characters, and yeah, you know, pretty fun game and stuff, you could definitely play with your friends and stuff, you know, just go fucking crazy, honestly, so, yeah, pretty good game, um, Piggy Tower Defense, now, once again, this is like the third piggy fan game out there that I'm not able to play because of Xbox support problems, and, um, so yeah, if any of you developers from any of these games are watching these, um, you, you know what to do, but yeah, um, Piggy Tower Defense, once again, a game I'm not able to play because of Xbox support reasons, but however, I was able to play another Piggy fan game called Piggy Towers, which is obviously just the same as Piggy Tower Defense, along with like Piggy Base of Defense. I'm pretty sure as well, you know, uh, where you basically, where it's basically just Piggy, but like it's Tower Defense and stuff like that and stuff. You know, see like right here we got the little Piggy and stuff. We got the little trap. We got Mr. P right here and stuff. We got Willow Wolf. You know, yeah, yeah, pretty simple game and stuff. You know, but yeah, since I already played Piggy Towers and it basically just has the same kind of gameplay of Piggy Tower Defense. I can technically t technically have an opinion opinion on it, 
And for that, it's a pretty good game. So, yeah. 9 out of 10. 9.9, like 8 out of 10, maybe, you know? Yeah, it could be it could be kind of difficult if you if none of you never really play tower defense at all and stuff, you know. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot Piggy the VHS archives. So yeah, Piggy the VHS archives. Yeah. So yeah, this is basically a Piggy analog core game, which I also have my own Piggy analog core, which is basically just the same old Roblox Piggy kind of you know story, but if it was basically just analog core style and stuff, you know. So definitely check it out. A lot of a lot of you really like the really like those videos and stuff, so I might might actually make more. I'm planning to actually remake my first ever Piggy VHS tape because it kind of sucked ass at this point. So, yeah. Get ready for that in, like, a, probably in a, in a month or something. But, yeah. Piggy the VHS archives. Oh, yeah. It's pretty goddamn terrifying. Uh, I'm being just straight up pretty fucking terrifying. Especially Revinery Revenge. It's pretty fucking dark. You never know if you could just run into the fucking AI Tigery and stuff, you know? And, yeah. Overall, it's just a pretty terrifying chat like game and stuff. I did play it before and stuff, you know? pretty fucking terrifying not gonna lie um but yeah it's not as it's not it's not as like the terrifying as like fucking the biggie back rooms but it is kind of terrifying if you if you don't know if you could be able to run into the piggy characters and stuff you know and yeah believe me the piggy characters are extremely fast and stuff so get ready for that and also the game was also canceled as well so um yeah but you can still play the chapters and stuff so if you want to still play those chapters and stuff then be my guest um so yeah, I don't know if I'll link all the games in the description below, but you you already know how to find them. So, yeah, once again, I just keep fucking speaking so much and stuff, you know? So, uh, anyways. But, yeah, now that we're done with the Piggy games and stuff, the Piggy fan games, now we're going to get into the Piggy YouTubers. Uh, hopefully, I could be in it. Uh, oh, wait, oh. Okay, then. Well, then, looks like we got some, um... All right, we got some um, Piggy care Like, we got some Piggy morphs, you know? Like piggy um hats, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I already yeah I already have the teal head and stuff. You know, yeah, I should have really put my teal uh, avatar on, huh? Probably. Um, anyways, now so um piggy season. So okay, so yeah, um, yeah. Let, oh wait, can we just um what what which one do I not you really? You, okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. Anyways, but yeah, Piggy Traps, yeah, let, let's start off with these. Yeah, the Crawling Trap, best trap ever, you know, to basically, you know, stop the Fed Trap campers and stuff, you know. I will obviously use it most of the time. Um, yeah, the Mouse Trap and stuff basically just detects you, detects your location, just like, you know, the, you know, Doggy in Chapter 4 and stuff, the Lasers in Chapter 10 and stuff. So yeah, really not that, wait, can we just, oh, we can just, okay then. So yeah, 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 um, yeah, pretty, pretty decent, um, yeah, pretty decent, um, you know, um, heads and stuff, you know, um, not, not, not from, nothing really that special and stuff, so, yeah, we got the snow piggy, which but obviously just throws a snowball at you, and then you basically just slow down, the tombstone, which I'm pretty sure it basically just holds you, or no, it actually activates, um, a song piggy and stuff, the teleporter trap, my favorite trap, um, yeah, it, one of my favorite traps, um, basically just tell, basically just teleports you from one place to another and stuff, you know, which is pretty good and stuff, um, but it kind of has a reputation now from Georgie Piggy and stuff and PJHL Films, so I'm sorry, but, yeah. Um, yeah, we got, yeah, Black Hole Trap, another good trap and stuff, you know, in case, like, if, like, you know, obviously, um, if there's any, like, um, fan campers, then you can obviously, you know, trap them with this, so, yeah, Alarm Trap, basically just, you know, the mouse trap, it, but instead it could just move and stuff, you know, um, so yeah, nothing really that special, Slow Trap obviously makes you slow, and yeah, these, these traps, honestly, yeah, yeah, these traps in general are really just not really that important and stuff, you know, when it comes to, like, these kind of traps right here and stuff, so, yeah, I don't exactly know what the fuck that trap was, it was probably the egg trap, maybe, I don't even know, if you guys remember the egg trap, then you're an OG, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna be here for quite a while, so, yeah, next we got the Piggy Seasons, and Tio, yeah, Season 1, um, yeah, not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, I actually loved all of these and stuff, you know, I loved all the, all these, all these seasons, honestly, you know, they they were pretty well made. They they were, they were pretty memorable skins and stuff, you know. Probably my favorite, pr probably my favorite out of all of them. If I would have had to choose, I would probably go probably Bakari or Car or like you know probably like Bakari or um you know um Craver, I think you know or Griffin. I don't know, but probably either three of them. So yeah, but. Um, yeah, probably my least favorite is probably, you know, the, 
season one because it was pretty simple and stuff. It's, it 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 does it it shouldn't really yeah, um yeah it doesn't really need to compete with all the other ones because obviously all of them are more better than the original. So um yeah. Anyways, now let's go with the piggy skin contest. Oh, guess the piggy. Well, I basically can't do that and stuff, you know, because obviously, chat. Um, anyways, um, yeah, chat is real. Um, all right, so yeah, now we got the piggy con skin contest skins, which obviously, yeah, if you basically didn't remember and stuff, um, Mini Toon would basically host these skin contests and stuff, you know, where um, basically you could basically submit your own skins that could possibly be added to the actual piggy game and stuff, you know. And yeah, one of yeah, what a yeah. So yeah, let's start off with Budgie because this skin actually, yeah, yeah. See, what I did like about this skin and stuff is because you know Mini Tune actually made it an actual character into the, like you know the Piggy you know storyline and stuff, and it's now basically just a kind of a well known you know, like Piggy character and stuff. And yeah, I yeah, I suppose that you know the original Captain Budgie creator um is probably happy about this and stuff. You know, probably happy that his character became you know an actual you know important part of the story and stuff, you know, so yeah, um, and yeah, the thing I actually found out, honestly, the thing I actually found out about Budgie is that she's a girl, yeah, Budgie's a girl, H how did I not figure this out, alright, but yeah, obviously we got, yeah, next up we got Fergus, which, yeah, this is basically his old design and stuff, and here's the thing, here's the thing, so, this, this skin originally got in, gotten into some drama, yeah, it got into some drama, because the pr the old skin basically had some stolen assets and stuff, you know? Yeah, it basically had some stolen assets, so, um, yeah, 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 obviously, obviously Desert Place basically, you know, changed up the skin a little bit and stuff to make, to make his own, you know, assets and stuff, you know, and, yeah, now it's kind of one of the most well-known skin, skins in the skin contest, you know, yeah, so, yeah, next we got Sardantis, which is probably my favorite, yeah, 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 um, yeah, it, yeah, it's probably my, t like, f my second favorite. Like, yeah, like, so we have Russell over here, probably my first favorite. Oh, oh yeah, and honestly, we got Gwen over here as well and stuff, you know, which also has some stolen assets and stuff, you know. I, and, yeah, they obviously had to change it up a little bit with, like, you know, fucking crystals and stuff, you know. Yeah, Shar yeah so first we have Russell, probably my first favorite skin. Um, Shardantis, second. Um, Fergus, third. Um, if I were to choose between these both, I would probably go Glenn. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, Jakayla last. Yeah, it's a good skin. It's a pretty good-ass skin and stuff, but, like, it just doesn't real. yeah. It's not really talked about that much, and it's not, yes, yeah, so, it's not, yeah. It is a good skin, just not my exact favorite, but. But, yeah, anyways, now we got Shark Dantis. So, um, yeah, ob yeah, it's obviously just a Shark King and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's a pretty good skin and stuff, you know, it has, you know, this kind of aura effect and stuff, you know, so, yeah, pretty good skin in general and stuff, you know, um, um, yeah, but can I, yeah, I, I'm just gonna do that and stuff because it's still an asset, so, yeah, there we go, anyways, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is Glenn, yeah, yeah, this is Glenn, um, it's pretty simple skin, you know, just like a minor, Dr. Disrespect better not be watching that. Yeah, he's basically a minor and stuff, you know, not like, you know, the actual age. But basically, you know, just a construction minor or whatever, something like that, you know. But that basically got corrupted with crystals or something like that and shit, you know. So, yeah, n we don't really know his backstory that much. They're basically just skin contest skins overall. Oh, yeah. Ghosty, pretty simple skin and stuff, you know. Um, Yeah, not really talked about as well. And stuff, you know. Like, he could possibly be important to the Piggy story because we obviously heard, like, one of the containers and, like, the area where the exit you should open in, like, chap book 2, chapter 8 and stuff, um, basically where it's just baited, and, and it could have possibly been, you know, the actual, you know, fit, like, the victim of Ghosty and stuff, you know, so, yeah, but in general, um, just a pretty basic, 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 ba fuck, basic skin and stuff, you know, just, yeah, so, not really that important, so, um, yeah, yeah, overall, Glenn, just pretty good, pretty decent, you know, skin and stuff, you know, um, yeah, so, Jakayla, once again, just a pretty cool skin, just not really, you know, my favorite alleys and stuff, not really talked about and stuff. Russell, easily best, easily the best skin contest skin out of all of these and stuff, you know. Um, it, it, it just looks so fucking cool, if I'm gonna be real, real honest, you know. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Now that we're done with all of those, um, let's move on. Yeah, let's now move on to Piggy YouTuber. Let's... Sorry about that. 
Anyways, um, yeah, Cree Crab. Yeah, the, yeah, we already, already know who Cree Crab is and stuff. Like, he's probably one of the most well-known Roblox YouTubers ever and stuff. And also known for playing Roblox Piggy and shit like that, you know. And also known for watching Skibbity Toilet and stuff, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Cree Crab, a pretty, pretty great YouTuber and stuff. His, like, his, like, Piggy era and stuff was probably the best out of all of them and stuff. It's just that him watching Skibbity Toy kind of ruined him for me, and I don't really watch him that much now. Um, yeah, Bullet Warren, also creator. Um, I, I don't really exactly watch you that much, but, uh, since you're the creator of this game, I'll basically just let you aside, so. Now I can see why he, he said, give that pull to me, Dad. Anyways, and Antics, yeah. I've heard of his, um, Antflix series and stuff, you know, but obviously he had to change up the, change the name and stuff. Because of copyrights with Netflix, they didn't like that too much and stuff, you know. That that he they're they're gonna be afraid that Amplex probably has more actually a good big mouth and stuff, you know. But yeah, Amplex, yeah. Don't really watch him that much. I'm pretty sure I watched a few of his videos back then, but yeah, I don't yeah. So um, think noodles. Uh, I mean, um, now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't do not get me. Be, 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 Best piggy YouTuber ever. This is the best piggy YouTuber ever. If you... Hello? You're good? You're good? You're expensive. good. Why the fuck would you even put them in here in the first... <laughs> of course, Flamingo's just fucking burning everything fucking down off, say. You know? Yep, classic Flamingo. Um, anyways, yeah. Yeah, th as I was saying, th this is the best piggy YouTuber ever, honestly, you know? I just remember watching his videos and stuff, and he's just saying... Tree. Like, he's the best ever, I'm telling you. Stink Noodles. Uh, now don't get me wrong. His, his, his old videos are probably just, yeah, his old videos are a lot more better than his newest videos. And what I be, mean by his newest videos is he obviously became one of those Roblox YouTubers that kind of fell off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably needs to put the fries in the bag and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, if you don't know, he obviously, you know, watches Garden of Ban Ban and shit like that, you know, he just watches Skibbity Toilet. He basically just became a Gen Alpha YouTuber now, so, yeah, it's sad to see him go, so, um, I, 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 I have no choice. I, I have to do it. I have to do it. He was one of those OG Roblox YouTubers that, that created that Minion series, funny haha -ha Minion series. Now look at you. You were the chosen one. You were the chosen one! You swore to destroy them, not join them! You... You... You promised! You promised you would be the greatest YouTuber of all time! Now look at you. Now! You're not one of them! Mm, they out. Great, great, great Roblox, great piggy YouTuber. And also known for creating... GORGE BACK! 10 out of 10 Gorge Packs. FGTV, already good, don't even need to explain. Banana Man, I watch your tutorials, you really help me a lot, so you get a pass. Ernie C3, um, you're pretty good, watch a little bit of your tutorials and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, I don't exactly watch all of your content, but it, it's still pretty good. Flamingo, best. Um, Sketch, you, you are pretty good, don't watch your content nowadays and stuff, you know. Honestly, I don't even know what the fuck kind of content you even make. Uh, honestly, yeah, I do remember, yeah, I do remember from one of his old videos, he, he, he like, you know... Had his nephew, like, play Roblox with him and stuff, you know? Honestly, I wonder what the hell happened to his nephew, honestly. If any of you remember that, you are an OG. Dennis, um, hope you, hopefully you're doing good in jail. Anyways, now that we're done with the piggy YouTubers that fast, um, yeah. Uh, obviously, obviously once this video comes out... Obviously once this video comes out and stuff, you know, um... Yeah, obviously once this video comes out, obviously they're gonna add me. They're obviously gonna add me as, you know, a piggy YouTuber because obviously I'm the best out of all of them and stuff. Like who needs the who needs um Cree Craft or the Vound when you have your good boy Puggy? Alright, um anyways. No bones. Man Alright. Okay, and she's just sleeping. Now I got the abilities. Now I don't exactly use the abilities that much, so um we're just gonna kinda skip this. The only thing I usually you use is j basically just the sprint, or even by a chance, like kind of a magnifying glass. I mean, I did use these abilities when they first came out, but now I just don't exactly use them and stuff. But you know, fuck it. I'm j yeah. So this one is pretty helpful and stuff, you know. But the problem is about this. 
about this one is that it could probably, you know, get, yeah, you could you could get confused with like like once it shows all the items, you could probably get confused on wh what item you already used and stuff. And you you would probably go to a location where it's shown an, shown an item and stuff, and it'll basically just be an item that you already used. So yeah, it could have been a it, yeah, this, this yeah the ability could be a pr problem and stuff. But in general, it's pretty helpful and stuff. You know, if you actually memorize all the locations of your items and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, the scanner. Um, this one is kind of useless, if I'm being honest, you know. Because usually when it comes to piggy maps and stuff, you know, um, they're really usually, like, open, opened up and stuff, you know. Like, you can really see, like, the piggy all the way out, out of the, you like, um, all the way outside. Like, like probably, like, like across the map and shit, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, but if, but if, but if you're, well, I mean, no, so yeah, um. Yeah, it's not really that important and stuff. So yeah, radar. Place a satellite dish that reveals the location of nearby infected. Once again, just like the scanner, it's kind of kind of useless, honestly, you know, because you can basically just see the piggy all around the map and like across the map and stuff, you know. So yeah, the sprint very helpful and stuff, you know. If you're basically you know about to die in a corner, then you can obviously you know juke the bitch and stuff, you know, and break their ankles and stuff, you know. So yeah, the flare, very another very helpful one and stuff, you know. Basically blinds the infected. And yeah, pretty helpful. Camouflage, un another helpful one. Decoy, another helpful one. Team Magnifying Glass, um, j just like those two, not really helpful. Team Energy Boost, actually pretty helpful and stuff, you know, if you want to use these other abilities and stuff. So yeah, um, all these these abilities right here that I did not, you know, target at um, are pretty good. So yeah. I wonder what the fuck's happening over there. Um, Alright, so let's see, what do we have here? Okay then. Oh, dear God, we, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be here for a fucking while. Okay, then. All right, here we go. So, extra chapters. So, yeah, this is, this is obviously, you know, like, extra chapters that were, that was, that were, like, basically in, like, events or something. Or basically, like, you know, like, chapters, like, dirt, like, um, during, you know, like, uh, around when, you know, the, like, the official chapter actually released, you know, to basically, you know, give more content. You know, stuff like that. So, yeah. First up, we got the Stored Memory. The first ever extra chapter and stuff. A pretty good one and stuff. Basically, just the house and stuff. A lot more distorted. And, yeah. This was, like, this was like the first ever time we actually, you know, that, like, the memory skin actually had a purpose in, in this chapter and stuff. Yeah. Pretty good chapter. 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Obviously, since it's one of the first, e e first ever extra chapters, we also have to give a credit and stuff, you know. Because, obviously, um... Yeah, because if, if it wasn't for this one, then we probably wouldn't get any of these. Unless it for the event chapters and stuff like that. So, yeah. Next up, we got the heist. Another pretty good actual extra chapter and stuff. <gasps> anyway, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Um, once again, a pretty good extra chapter. Probably my favorite extra chapter out of all of these and stuff, you know. It actually, you know, like, introduced, you know, some story and stuff, you know. We like, or, I mean, we already knew about the story, at least, you know. But, like, it, it gave us more emotion and stuff, you know, so... Yeah, um, uh, yeah, especially, you know, like, wash clean in the river inside, like, god damn, like, shit, like, Beast Lake always fucking cooks with his fucking music, he does not need to put the fries in a bag, though, he can basically cook the fries and shit, you know, cook as fuck, alright, sorry about that, um, anyways, yeah, so, next up, Breakout, probably the most scariest piggy chapter next to, like, sewers, probably, and stuff like that, you know, so, yeah, once again, uh, yeah, probably, like, my top three favorite piggy chapters, you know, like, like, extra chapters and stuff, you know, along with, like, heists and shit like that, you know, so, yeah, pretty good, pr yeah, pretty good and stuff, you know, pretty, pre a pretty scary one and stuff, you know, probably make you jump at least once, um, so, yeah, um, winter holiday, yeah, yeah, winter holiday, so, yeah, ob yeah, this is obviously, you know, the Christmas chapter that comes back every single year and shit, you know, stuff like that, and, yeah, once again, once again, you know, a pretty good chapter and stuff, you know, basically for the Christmas time, and, yeah, it's very, very, very jolly. So, yeah. RV Battle Season 2. Uh, a pr yeah, once again, a pretty good... Uh, oh, got fucking Envy from Inside Out 2. I plan to see Inside Out 2 with my friends later on. So, yeah, pretty good. So, um, yeah, next up, Sketchy. Already good and stuff. I don't think I ever played it, though, for a video. But, yeah, I did see videos about it. F very, very fucking funny April Fool's joke. Uh, I honestly can't remember if it was April Fool's joke or whatever. Curti, best, best, be best... Best extra chapter of at all, uh, of all, of all. Like, it, it's just so fucking good, honestly, you know? If you don't like it, then go kill yourself. All right, anyways, uh, Mansion, another pretty fucking scary chapter and stuff, you know? I honestly just like it that the more chapters release in Piggy, the more they actually, you know, started to become scary and shit like that, you know? 
Like, Minitoon really took, you know, the piggy's not scary really too seriously, huh? But, yeah, yeah, this is probably, like, the second scariest chapter compared to, like, you know, Breakout. Um, but, yeah, it, it is scary at first and stuff, you know, whenever, when it's dark and stuff. But once it, like, you know, the lights are turned on and stuff, then it's not exactly scary at least, you know? Unless, you know, do, do a crow or something, you know? Kind of, you know, just jumps up at you and shit like that, you know? So, um, anyways... Um, anyway, so yeah, Medical, Metal, Metallica, yeah, basically just, you know, the event chapter for the rock pain and stuff, you know? Yeah, pretty, pretty cool chapter and stuff. I had, I had some problems of it, with it and stuff, you know, but, yeah, overall, just still pretty good, so, yeah, the hunts. Yeah, the hunts, so, yeah, this, yeah, you could, yeah, this is when, this is when you, this is how you could see how th this is when you could tell Minitoon what when he can cook with his fucking you know events and stuff you know, like whenever M Minitoon is put into a Roblox event and stuff, then you there's a good chance that he's gonna cook with it and stuff you know, um and <clears throat> and yeah 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 th this was probably my favorite this was probably one of my favorite events out in the hunt event out of all time and stuff you know, not because of its piggy but since it was actually effort put into it, uh, yeah I'm looking at you Blade Ball. Anyways, yeah, now we're getting to Piggy Opinion, so, um, yeah, so, uh, can't wait to get, can't wait to get canceled and shit for my opinion, um, would you rather, let's do this, would you rather have everyone vote for house or carnival? I will go with house, you know, so, bye-bye. Yeah, if I, if I would have compared the difficulty between house and carnival, I would probably go with house, I mean, both of them are pretty easy and stuff, you know, um, it's just... Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, next up, um, play piggy or build mode. I would probably play. Yeah, I do like build mode. I do like build mode. I I, I would I would probably just you know play the actual piggy game and stuff you know in general. Um, you know, so yeah because because what if like if you go into like a piggy build mode map and like you think it's gonna be like the greatest thing of all time, but next thing you know it's just gonna be one fucking block like that one and stuff you know. So yeah, I would rather play the official piggy game. So yeah. Um, get Intercity or Book 3? Not gonna lie. I, I'm, th this might be controversial. This might this might be controversial. I can, I'm gonna, I can already hear the boost. I'd rather get Book 3. Yep, I know. I know. I, I'd rather get the Book 3. Okay, yep. I I fucking get it. The, the book 3 is better! But yeah, honestly, I would probably... I would probably want Book 3. I, I, would, I would probably want Book 3 first and stuff. And then probably Intercity last and stuff, you know? Because it could possibly, you know, yeah, because once again, it could possibly, you know, like, give us more story and stuff, you know, stuff like that, y you guys, so, yeah, alright, um, uh, Piggy Book, yeah, Book 1, well, no, Book 2, yeah, I'll probably go, yeah, I do like Book 1 and stuff, it introduced us, you know, to the story, obviously, but, honestly, like, a lot more effort was put into Book 2 and stuff, you know, and I just like, like, like the gen chapters in that more than Book 1 and stuff, so, yeah, um, would you rather have... I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry that one, um, Mr. P account, like, Mr. P fangirl account on fucking Twitter, but I have to go with my boy Tio. I, I'm just gonna have to go with my boy Tio and stuff, you know? Yeah, sorry to all the Mr. P fangirls that are watching this video right now and probably cancel me on Twitter right now, but, but, come on, l look at him. L look at, look at, look at this guy. He's a ton more sexy man, for God's sakes, you know? I don't know if they just made that face for the fuck of it, uh, whatever. Alright, final one! Final one. Save Doggy or save Bunny? I'm not a simp. I, I swear to God, I'm not a simp! Anyways, now that we're done with that, let's see- Yeah, let, yeah. The last thing we- Well, we, we have to go to downstairs and upstairs. Yeah, so let's see what we have downstairs now, so. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Oh. Ooh, Master Bobby's! I'm a legend! Better pink, glue, tower, pals! It's gonna be easy, please, lemon, squeeze, 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 Oh god, here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Which skins are in mall? Mousy. There we go. Minitune! 
You found Mini Tune. Yay. Alright, anyways, um, now, let's go upstairs, which will probably be, like, the final, you know, raid in and shit, you know, so, yeah. Boy, do I miss that. Um, crouch button. Oh, 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 Y key, oh, oh, alright. Um, alright, so, crouch button. Crouch button, so, anyways, there should be a wrench somewhere in the chapter section. What? I'm sorry? Um... Um, oh, hello. What? Oh, you found Georgie. Nice. Um, all right. Skin quest. Let's do. Oh. Oh, God. All right, you know, let's do this. Let's do this extremely simple and stuff, you know. Um, pulley, prototype as well and stuff, you know. Um, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty decent and stuff, you know. And the only problem I have with it is that the obby can be extremely fucking difficult because, you know, the your short ass jump and stuff, you know. And especially when you actually have to get the prototype out of there and stuff, you have to be as fast as you can to get the fuck out of there and stuff, you know? So yeah, probably take you a few tries. Um, yeah, pretty decent, honestly, but... Yeah, I did hear about the pulley and new skin drama and stuff. Pretty fucking stupid, honestly, but... Yeah, we got fucking sands in here. Um, anyways, Mr. P, basically, you just... Yeah, just complete... Just get the true ending and stuff. Yeah, pretty pretty, pretty cool and stuff, you know? It, I, I just love it when, like, whenever, like, there's, like, a hidden ending and stuff. There was a hidden ending and Piggy and stuff. And you would basically, and like everyone, like was going through all the chapters, making live streams and shit like that, you know? Yeah. So, Mr. Stitchy. The... Ah! Anyways, Mr. Stitchy. Um, prop. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty fucking good, honestly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Pr probably my favorite. Maybe. All right. We got Owl. Owl. Owlet. Whatever. Fucking like that. Y yeah. Um. Pretty forgettable, honestly. You know? Yeah. Kind of like a forgettable skin, if I'm going to be really honest. Like, when was the last time has anyone ever talked about that skin? Exactly. All right. Alright, Frost Iggy, all you have to do is just beat chapter, yeah, the Winter Holiday chapter, I'm pretty sure. Primrose, um, yeah, you basically had to, you know, find, you had to, like, um, find that crossbar or something. Yeah, uh, pretty simple, you know, skin quests and stuff, not the best, not the best at all, but pretty good. Um, be, but, um, the egg hunt, you know, at this, honestly, they probably did a lot more better job than, um, the actual fucking Roblox egg hunts nowadays and stuff, you know. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, Gold Piggy, at, once they... Um, won the Innovation Awards, the 8th Bloxy Rewards, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, another pretty good-ass one and stuff, you know? Um, um, Fena? Fena? Phenom? I don't, I don't fucking know, but... Yeah, pretty, another good, another sk good skin quest and stuff, you know? Laura, probably my favorite skin quest skin out of all of these. Um, yet Willow, we still didn't get that Grandpa Piggy skin yet. Or it's probably just Song Piggy, I don't know. But, yeah, next we got, um, Willow and stuff, you know, um, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, you basically just had to find all the pages in, like, all the, ch all book one and book two chapters and stuff, or no, that was, um, no, that was book two, only book two, so, yeah, pretty simple and stuff, it could be really difficult to find those pages all by yourself without any tutorials and stuff, so, yeah, um, Rainbow Sentinel, which I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be, you're supposed to find all, on um, the book one pages and stuff, I'm pretty sure, but, yeah, um, next up, um, Tio, yeah, but, Honestly, just best piggy skin at, at, of all time, honestly. I'm just being real dead honest right there. Um, yeah. Um, br but yeah. Ombra and stuff. Um, all you have to do is just beat Breakout Chapter. Pretty pretty good and stuff. Definitely worth the skin and stuff, obviously, you know. Basically, just a Sentinel Tigre, I guess you could say. Um, and honestly, I do like that, like, like these hallucination kind of skins are, like, have this, like, kind of pattern and stuff, you know. And stuff, you know, like, even, like, the fucking eye, like, the fucking eyes and mouth and stuff, you know. Yeah, I like that a lot. Ah, the Duokura and the Bella. This one, you have to beat the Mansion Chapter and, I think, Bot Mode. It has to be Bot Mode and stuff. And the Bella, yeah, it, 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 you have to, like, you know, get into that room and stuff, you know, where where Old Man Eddie was in, like, the ending cutscene and stuff, you know. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, just clicked on the Crystal Orb! And then you complete the skin quest. Anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> um, we got Ellie, Ellie Kara, Ellie Katra? I, I, I cannot pronounce her name. Yeah, she, it's at, she's actually he as well, so, or she, fuck, she, I mean, anyone could be anything. Holy shit, uh, he's not even that fucking big in the, as an actual skin, but yeah, all you have to do is just beat the hunt event and stuff, pretty simple, so, yeah, that's basically about it. Yeah, so, now, first, first off, First off, I want I want to see where this white key exactly goes. Give me one moment. Hold on. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay. 
Um, alright, so. Um, alright, so, yeah, this, it got up, there we go. Um, now let's see, where does this, where does this white key exactly go? I really need to fucking eat right now because I am starving like fucking starved egg now. <clears throat> um, anyway, so, where does this white key go? Where does this white, where does this white key go? Um, is it like in a secret room, like a picture or something? Da 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 da, fuck, alright. Never mind, uh, or it's probably in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably, okay, alright, but. <clears throat> but I mean, there's a wrench, it said there's a wrench somewhere around, you know, a piggy chap, hold on. Probably, hold on, yeah, let me just look for it real quick. Uh, yeah, it says it's around here somewhere, so uh, let's go find it, shall we? I honestly still don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see. Doggy, do you have it? No, you don't, you son of a bitch. Um, Alright. You're still giving me the fucking creeps. Um, Alright. Ah, there it is. Now what do I use that? All right, you know, I'm probably just going to end the video right here. But yeah, that's basically just my opinion opinion in of all, you know, the Piggy games in general and stuff. You know, the Piggy fan games, the Piggy traps and stuff, you know. So yeah, can't wait to get canceled on Twitter tomorrow for my opinion. So yeah, especially the Mr. P. Yeah, all, that, 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 that I love Mr. B or some shit like that. You know, account is going to come after me, I bet. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if... Yeah. Um, if you wanted to play more Piggy games like these, where you can basically, you know, give your opinion about Piggy and stuff, you know, stuff like that, and basically just get canceled on Twitter the next day for, you know, having an opinion, um, or if you want to know if I'm to update one of these Piggy, Piggy games I did play for, but I never heard the update, then, su then suggest them on the group while I'm a Ro Roblox group, the Puggy was like group, you can click the link in the description below that has a own paragraph, or you can just do it in the long, so long way, so on Roblox group, the Puggy was like the group. And it'll most likely be the first one to pop up. Also, quick. Also, here's the thing about the Rolex group, though. You guys should just more of the Rolex games and stuff. Like, it's just Puggy's picture. Extras ideas, highly specials ideas, fails me to act on YouTube, like mo movie trailers, um, Friday and Funky mods. Like, it doesn't have to be Rolex games specifically. It could just be anything. Just make sure it's not appropriate for obvious reasons. Also, quick notes, though. If the Rolex game that you just is not Xbox support at the moment, they'll basically just say in the Google that's not Xbox support. But when it does become Xbox support in the future, I'm also going to hold it and play it. Also, also suggestions give it to where the experiences games are not allowed. So suggestions give it to where the game. Then boom, you come and delete it, and that'll be the first one to be exiled out from the group. Also, if you do just roll game, the or no find is update one of these teams I did play before. I never heard the update. And so, maybe video, but yeah, there are two things I have. Two things I have right now. Number one, I probably need to acquire all world game sets up because I usually go to the last. Or number two, probably be able to do something else, you know, like animation or complete your project that I have read on. Failed on us, yeah. But don't worry, the world team that suggests was over record by me, other yada yada, so we're going description below. We're going to support our rights into the YouTube channel. Also, do not just be any world schemes made by people on the platform who have done a good thing, you know, like game fan, fake games, like one of them all the times. You're coming to the lead, and it's not worrying. I just want to show that kind of stuff. Also, do not send any world RC3 games. That one is self explanatory. You exile from the group without any warnings. Also, do not just make any cash grab games, especially knockoffs of the original, you know? Games that are only made specifically for money and stuff, you know? Like m the Midnight Games, Experience Horror Games, even the Badass Tycoons. You're probably deleted it, and it's not a warning. I just want to play Rolex games. I actually feel like effort was put into it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Play with us right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, peace. I trusted you!